everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be taking a look into all of the new, confirmed, and speculated characters coming into the valley. We're going to follow along the roadmap for this video and discuss all of the characters that are shown here in their arrival into the valley. So let's jump right into it. So first up, on December 5th, we'll be welcoming Jack Skellington into our valley. It was only a matter of time before the community's love of pumpkins caught the attention of the Pumpkin King himself. Jack Skellington makes his valley debut as part of the 8th major content update. From investigating the secrets of Dreamlight Valley to creating a new holiday for the valley, you'll want to keep an eye on the valley's most moody biome for hints of his arrival. So I wonder if Jack Skellington is going to come into our valley the same way that Mirabelle and Stitch did, where we find an object and that's what brings his arrival into the valley. The next group of characters who will be coming into our valley will come via the paid expansion A Rift in Time. The expansion will be played in three acts. The first act will introduce players to Eve, Gaston, and Rapunzel, who all have their part to play in this mystery. Rapunzel's been living in the new jungle biome, the Wild Tangle, all by herself, enjoying a new life out of Mother Gothel's reach. Girl, I wish I was lucky as you. She'll also be the key to finding an important object for the player's quest. Along with her role in the story, we will also be helping Rapunzel start an art class. Gaston's been shipwrecked in the desert for quite a while in another new biome, the Glittering Dunes. Gaston might be able to help you in your journey if you can put up with him for long enough. Along the way, we can take lessons and heroics from Gaston. Eve has been on Eternity Isle watching over the hourglass for the old ruler. You'll find her in the new biome, Ancient's Landing, and there you will have to convince her that you're a friend and not a foe so that you can get the hourglass. Then we will finally be able to reunite Eve with Wally. Then in late winter of 2024, we will scream with excitement as a new realm door opens. That's right! To kick off 2024, players will take a trip to the Laugh Lore as they explore the Disney Pixar's Monsters Inc. realm and welcome both Mike Wazowski and Sully to Dreamlight Valley. In early spring of 2024, a vibrant new villager moves to the valley. With Donald's boat pictured here and Miss Daisy Duck carved into the front of it, this can mean that none other than Daisy herself will be coming into our valley, which will be awesome for Donald and his tempers and as well as somebody to referee Mr. McDuck and Donald's little quarrels. Also in spring of 2024, we will be playing Act 2 of the Paid Expansion, where we will explore Ancient's Landing to uncover more of its secrets and befriend a very lucky villager. Now, when I think of Disney and lucky villagers, nobody comes to mind except for Oswald the Lucky Rabbit and the dog from 101 Dalmatians, but I don't think he's coming. So the community and myself do think that this lucky villager is none other than Oswald himself. Then in late spring of 2024, we'll be opening another realm with the hint, you don't find a realm like this every dynasty. Hmm, why does this sound so familiar? That's right, I think that this is none other than Mulan herself coming into the valley, and she better bring Mushu and the Lucky Cricket, or I'm gonna have some beef with Gameloft, because they need to be in the game with her. Then in summer of 2024, a new princess joins the valley, bringing new culinary delights. That's right, in the summer update, we will be introduced to Tiana from Disney's Princess and the Frog, who is set to bring her culinary expertise to the valley. And she better be bringing her restaurant, because you cannot have Tiana without her restaurant. It's time to give Remy a break, so please, bring her restaurant. Also, in summer of 2024, we will be playing the final act of the paid expansion, where we will foil Jafar's schemes and fix the rift in time. So that brings us to our last, but certainly not least, character, Jafar. So while we've been dealing with the forgetting, Jafar has been out there with a plan of his own trying to uncover some of those magical artifacts. His plan has gone terribly wrong and now time is all tangled up on Eternity Isle, which was once an ancient kingdom full of treasures and magical artifacts, but has become lost in time thanks to Jafar's meddling and magic. Luckily, he thinks he found the diamond in the rough to fix things, which is you, the player. Sorry Aladdin, we took your job. It's up to us to stop Jafar's scheme to steal the spark of imagination and ancient relic that holds the fabric of Dreamlight Valley together. With the help of the hourglass, you are the key to fixing rifts in time and putting a stop to Jafar's evil plan and decide if you can really trust Jafar. So this finishes out our characters presented here on the content roadmap. Out of this list, who are you most looking forward to coming into your valley? And is there another character who hasn't been shown or talked about yet that you would love to be in your valley? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you're interested in content like this. And I'll see you all in the next one.